Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. This is a book, The Stress-Free Chicken Tractor Plans by John Soskovich, and this can be purchased on Amazon. And this is a modified version of it. I did several different modifications here, but I will let you purchase this from Amazon so you can get the plans on exactly what's here. I will go over the modifications at some point. But today, the only thing I'm gonna talk about is the electric system, which I have a single strand of electric going around to keep predators away. So the chicken tractor itself has half inch mesh and that will keep any predators from coming in through the, the tops, the sides or anywhere else. I, I have the half inch mesh everywhere. What the chicken tractor design itself doesn't protect is a predator digging underneath of the chicken tractor itself. And that's where the electric fence comes or the electric wire comes in. So uh, it's six inches out, six inches up in all directions, all the way around. And th it is electrified to just under 10,000 volts. So any predator that comes over and tries to dig, it's going to come, they always come right up to the uh, chicken tractor itself and try to dig under. So as they approach, they will hit the wire, get a shock. It will not kill them or permanently hurt them. It just makes them respect, respect the wire. And at that point they will be deterred and move on. So let me talk about what didn't work, at least for me to begin with. So I started out putting in T-posts here and I had to use a T-post driver to drive it in and it took everything I could do just to drive it in this far and I cannot get these out myself without a mechanical removal tool, which would be this right here. And the reason being is we're in West Virginia, we have clay and rock soil and it is very dry. So because of that, it's just like hammering into rock and then once it gets a hold of it, it doesn't let it go. So this did not work for me, especially in a chicken tractor that's supposed to be movable. So next up, I went and have these from Tractor Supply. And what this is, is just basically uh, like a nail on the end. And then you can run the wire through right here. And it's intended for movable posts. But again, uh, even though I'm close to the driveway right now, if I go anywhere around, it's it's just extremely difficult and it's not gonna stay up. I mean, just it, it's gonna push right over there. So what I did is I grabbed a nail and I drove it in the ground with a hammer and then I put that in. But again, that's not very mobile. I, I'd spend a half an hour hooking the electric fence back up. So since I only have a single chicken tractor here, what I decided to do is just permanently put the wire on. So let me start all the way back at the beginning here. And what I have is, get right here a little contrast on, is a ground pole in the ground. And it, again, it's only in a little bit because the ground is so hard and the ground wire is connected up. I do have plans of changing that up. John Siskovich on his YouTube channel has a way of making a movable ground rod. And I'm probably going to do something like that. And the ground comes over and it connects up to one end of the solar charge controller here. And then that connects up to the green peg there on the bottom over there. And then the red peg is hot and the hot comes over and connects up to a switch right here. So it's connected up to the bottom side and the switch allows us, right now it is off or disengaged, the circuit is open. And when we are down, it is on right now, so the system is energized. So when it is closed and connected up, we have electric coming down this wire, changes over to the string right here, and the string has little wires through it, and the wires are what uh, will electrify anything that touches it. So it's intended for predators. Uh, we are six inches out, six inches off the ground, all the way around. So any predator that's gonna come up and try to dig underneath of this, it's intended to deter them from getting into the tractor. So 
what and what you're doing basically is you hit the wire and you complete the circuit down to ground if you're touching it because the ground rod is right over there so the switch i have the electric coming in it comes down it connects up to the wire right there it takes off in this direction down here because in the back of the Siskovich tractor the uh, two by fours don't come out quite far enough to get six inches. I had to add a two by two on the end and this is all just scrap stuff I had laying around and I just continue my circuit again two by two over here. I am six inches out, six inches off the ground, six inches this way. I come over on this one here. I didn't have to come out at an angle. I just needed a three quarter inch plywood to get my six inches connect up here. I tied an extra knot on here so it was taut all the way around. And this one over here, this is what allows us to, because right now it's six inches off the ground, we're gonna hit the door. So what will allow us to open the door is to turn this off. And with that off, we're not energized right now. So what I can do is on this string right here, I had a, just a scrap spring laying around and just a little, I forget what these hooks are called here, but that way I can remove the string here and set it aside and we are off in the front here. And then it's very easy. My wife or my daughter can connect this up. We are connected up so that way we're energized around. And as soon as we take this and throw the button down, we are fully energized all the way around. So everything I have here is scrap lum lumber, scrap parts, uh, the string I had from another project, uh, which was protecting my food forest over here, the charge controller and the solar panel, all of that was, again, over here protecting the food forest, which I don't need protection for anymore because I have a larger fence and it's grown up some. So everything here is repurposed. The switch, everything. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't show you is I made a standoff here. Okay, so the standoff right here is intended to be on a T-post and the wire runs through the little zigzag right here. Well, what I did is I cut this portion off. Let me show you. Come back up front and show you here what I did. So I cut the zigzag off and I used the T portion, which is right here. And I drilled a hole right here on the top and I put a wire tie through it. And I had plenty of those and that just holds the wire so I'm not shorting anything out to the actual uh, cage itself. And then down here, right there, the two white things, that is actually cable TV. I forget what it's called, hangers or something like that. I had an excess of those around, so that kind of holds it off. And what I'm worried about, is the press treated lumber, although it's a little wet, it's not too big a deal, shorten anything out right now, but we're calling for rain later this week and I would have some issues there. Murph, why don't you step back? You're gonna get zapped and you're in the way, dude. Let's see, this piece right here, just uh, again, it's in the section in tractor supply that allows you to connect everything up. So that changes it from the insulated wire over to the string itself it wraps around a couple times so in the process of editing this video i see one of my mistakes here which is right here in that basically i have metal strands connected up to a metal spring connected up to a metal clamp or god i forget what this thing's called still and into an eyeball which is connected up to wood and tomorrow it's going to rain so that will connect and basically energize this entire fence here and that could could cause harm to the chickens, not sure about that. But anyhow, uh, I would need to insulate this right here. So what I did is I cut up an insulator here and I'll show you how I made this in a minute and go ahead and attach up. And that way I stop shorting stuff out to the wood when it gets wet. Okay, so what I did is I took one of these pieces right here and I cut it just about in half and I cut the little ends off and then I drilled holes here that will allow me to attach it to the wood and I can connect the metal piece up right here in this hole right here and it's good and stout and will hold up to whatever we're going to do without worrying about electrifying the, the chicken tractor. And this is what it looks like insulated and protected or away from the wood there so that will be the final 
product, at least for now. Tomorrow it rains and we'll see if there's any mistakes and I'm sure I'll have lessons learned as time goes along. And what I'll do with any lessons learned is I'll just include those in the show notes as time goes on. So years from now on down the line, you can check it out and hopefully it'll be a chronicle of uh, what the finished product looks like. And I may actually, if it ends up a lot different than what it is right now, I'll just go ahead and, and include a new video or a link to one there. So make sure you check out the show notes. I'll also include in the show notes the links to uh, any Amazon products or anything, uh, either the exact ones or similar ones to, that I am using here, uh, as well as tractor supply links, just so you can see exactly what I'm, what I am using. One other thing I did forget here is there is a fault finder. They have this at uh, Tractor Supply and on Amazon, and this thing is absolutely amazing. So you just push this little button right here, and if there's any issues with anything it'll tell you which direction it is open short or anything like that so i can just put it on here there's a little uh, slot in the back there let me see if i can get it right there there's a little slot i just lay it on the string i push the button and there you go it shows that i have eight 8,100 volts on there, 8.1 kV. Now it's 5.8 kV, 5.7. If there was an open, let me see if I can, sometimes if it's not on the wire, right, it'll show open. But you see where it says zero A right now? It will show one direction or the other with a number and it will show you which direction that you have a short where something short out to ground could be connected up to a piece of grass or something like that. So handy dandy little tool here but it does show that we are live with just shy of 10,000 volts again not high current so the dogs have been zapped i have been zapped and doesn't kill us it makes us respect the string but all in all we are all good and it protects these chicks right here so again if you have any questions please put a comment in the show notes that's it for this video Thank you very much and have a great day.